Guys, what is up? Welcome back to another manga episode of Reincarnation Coliseum. Now, you know I've been waiting on this for a while, and I know you all been waiting on it too. This has been out for 10 days, I think. I think 10 days. 10 days, but it wasn't in English, and I didn't want to go through translation stuff because I was doing some other translation stuff anyway. But now we got it in English. We got it. I want to talk to you about it. Let's go through it. Squad, this chapter sent me for a ride in the first half. But oh boy, did it come through in the end. Okay, so let's get this shit started. Now, let's begin. At the start, Mikigami, as you know, supposedly lost his powers after being put in the dome-like sphere by Fine Catastrophe. Of course, you know, Fine Catastrophe is this all-skilled type individual, but she got some trash skills in there. I don't know what the fuck that's all about. But anyway, going from there, it picks up from him realizing his skills disappeared and getting knocked down by Fine's Haymakers. I mean, she like clocked this dude like with a good hook and he laid flat. So he laying on the ground, she grinded her heel into his hand. Man, my God, I really wish that was me. Then tells him that she had a enchanted gear on hand. Of course, you know that's prohibited. The gear is prohibited. And it was a way to make sure Mikigami loses to her. Of course, Fine also tells him this was decided by the higher ups. Of course, you know that means like Zaysama and the Resum. I think Desmond, I think that was another one of the higher ups that he is forced to lose and his suffering just makes Zaysama happy. And you know that Zaysama wanted him to lose for like ever since like the first time with Bloody Mary. Of course he'd be Bloody Mary, he'd be Marl, he'd be Alice, and now we're on to Fine Catastrophe. Of course, you know, Fine taunts him some more and then Mikigami just snaps. He wants to give it like the biggest humiliation. Like this panel right here was just him like pissed off. He just like breaks her enchanted gear and he's starting to regain his power now and uses like a rank one buff up to four fist as the technique is called on Fine and like pushes her back. Now she's bleeding a little bit and the announcers are just like confused on what's going on because now that the smoke's clear, Fine's the one bleeding and Mikoyami's up in like a like a fist pose, so to speak. Fine's like, what's going on here? And like she started to put pieces together and she's like, oh, this Mikoyami used spatial exchange. Like that's Alice's move. It was like, not perfection, but it was like degraded enough. And she could tell by like his fingers and all that stuff. Like they were bleeding and all that. And so then Mikigami tells her that, you know, you're not gonna die by the spatial exchange that he casted, but rather her own skills degraded by his copy skills. You know, Fine starts to question, it's like, you really think you can, you can beat me with your skills? And he lets her know that he's not gonna lose. So bring it on, like this panel right here, he's like, bring it on, give him the, the full on rock, the rock taunt right there, I love that. So he taunts her enough and she loses. She snaps now and sends multiple skills his way, like fireball, light ball, thunderball, like all come his way. Like two of them hit, the third one stop, and then he takes that third one, just from the panel how I saw it, he takes the third one and combines it with two other skills and redirects it right at Fine. So he took her own technique, combined it with like, I don't know which one it was, if it was fire or if it was thunder or it was light, but either way, he used fire, thunder, light, like a three type combination, which is hard to pull off even for Fine, and like shoots it right back. And then she starts contemplating on whether to dodge or defend, but it's too late, she gets hit. Frying her, she gets so fried by this and loses the battle. The audience is like stunned. Zulu and Marl are like stunned in the audience, but I think Marl's just like in love with the whole aspect of, you know, Mikigami just winning in general. She always says he's gonna win no matter what. And like, Marl, come, Marl says like, the combination never worked once in practice. So he's attempted this before, but it never worked in practice. So this is weird for it to work now out of all times. And then, we take a look at Zaysama. Zaysama's like questioning this whole thing, like the outcome, like why is Fini on the ground? What is going on? She really lost and just snaps like usual. She snaps like usual. She makes this crazy face. And then like at the end of the chapter, it shows a new friend or foe is approaching and finds Big Gami interesting in the last panels. You know what I mean? What happens now? Zaysama's four heavenly kings are all done in. Like Bloody Mary's done, Marl is done, Alice is done. Fine's done. I don't know what more you can do with this manga except introduce more characters. So this new enemy or friend 
could be the key to, you know, Mikuyami getting revenge on Zaytama, but we don't know. Zaytama herself might appear as, like, the last of them to try and beat Mikuyami. Like, that's the only thing that can happen unless she gets higher health. But this tells me a lot about, like, the countries that are at war in this manga. And this individual at the end could be someone from the other country coming in that was spying on them. So we just don't know until we get more information on it. I gotta give a shout out to Zunta. Zunta's been providing all of, you know, the artwork and everything along the line. Also shout out to Harawata for, you know, writing this stuff. Like, it's, it's just great. It's just great. I love this. I know you guys have been waiting on me to do it. Of course, you all have been waiting to read it as well. This new cover page right here, because it was Mary in my older videos, but now it's tomorrow. It looks fantastic. I just love it. I love her. And I'll see you guys in the next chapter because we got more to talk about. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash that like button, drop a comment. Let me know what you think about the whole fight in general because I know this is more than just this chapter itself. I love this etchy shit. But anyway, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications. Follow me on socials and holla at your boy. I'll see you next time.